Welcome back to Craig's Cabin today. We're going to do a little bit of bushcraft, but obviously not out in the bush, we're indoors. We're going to be tying a few knots. So let's jump into the video. So the first knot we're going to use, we're going to learn, is the overhand knot. This is the knot that I've been calling the granny knot for so many years. And it's a good knot, it holds stuff tight. It's not that common with sailors um, because when the knot gets wet or if it's pulled too tight, it's really hard to undo really uh, when they need to undo it quick. So you get your bit of cord or rope. We're just using paracord here cheap old paracord I've had this one a while and with overhand knot you want to make a loop like so right you go over and through and pull tight like so that's a simple overhand knot Show you it a bit smaller, move closer. There we go. There you go. And that's what I call a granny knot, but it's called an overhand knot. And there's another variation to this it's a multiple overhand knot. So you get your thing, you go over your hand and through and through and through and through. It makes it look like a pet and a set of brass knuckles. Like that. And then you just pull either end really tight. And then that gives you that tight knot there. And these are really good stopper knots. And if you tie a few of these multiple overhand knots in various places down the rope, it's a good bit for you to grip onto. So it's a great stopper knot. So I'm going to untie this and then we get on with the next one. So that was the overhand knot. Next we're going to do a figure of eight knot. And I found out some information about a figure of eight knot. This knot is known in Italy as a Savoy knot. Because it appears in the coat of arms of the House of Savoy. And it's also known as the love knot. As it symbolises faithful love and eternal friendship. But because of its shape, it is commonly known as a figure of eight knot, which I will show you. And there's a couple of ways of doing this as well. The easiest way I found I'm going to show you. And then I'm going to show you a variation of the figure of eight knot called the figure of eight slip knot. And again, there's a couple of ways of doing it. One way I'm going to show you, which I, I learned out of a book. And one way my son showed me that he knew how to do. So let's do the figure of eight knot first. Get your bit of rope, <coughs> like so. And then you make your loop. Come back on yourself and make a loop. And you go under and then back through. And start to make a figure of eight. Like so. I don't know if you can see it. But there we go. One figure of eight nut. So you loop, go under, over and through. Do it again just to show you. You get a bit of rope, make a loop, like so. This bit goes under the loop and into the loop. There we go, figure of eight knot. Now the next one is the figure of eight slip knot. So we're gonna go again, we're gonna go loop, under and through. Right, but we started pulling it. This time we wanna come back with a loop there. Hold this loop 
but I keep pulling tight. Pull the knot so it goes tight and tight and tight. Right, there we go, like that. You can see it's strong, this loop. But then, now hopefully this hat works, because 50-50 chance with me that it's not gonna work. You pull the loose bit, it slip out there. And it worked! <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I've done that wrong. But there we go. So, loop. Go under the loop, through the loop, and then you come back through. All right, hold the loose end here with your thumb and pull this knot tight. It's a lot easier if you've got it attached to something. You can pull that knot as tight as you want. Like so. If you, if you pull it tight enough, the knot, it stops the slip not undoing when it's got pressure on it. All right, and then take the pressure off, pull that one there. Right, so my son Oliver showed me a quicker way of doing that knot. See if I can remember what he said. So you get your bit. Of bit of rope you put your hand through let's see if I get this right hand through twist it ah. and then grab that one and then pull it through like that I think I did it <laughs> I'll do it again and see if I can remember it without hesitating this time. So you get your rope, if you dangle the end, put your arm through, go round the long bit, grab the short bit, pull it through. Oh, I'm getting tangled. Pull it through, hold it onto the little bit and the big bit, and just pull it tight, and you've got that there. It still gives you a figure of eight knot and the slip knot that you need as well. And like I said before, the tighter you pull the knot, and the more pressure's on the knot. It's not going to slip out. But then when you take the pressure off, you just pull, and it should just pop out if, if I haven't twisted it up too much. There we go. Magic. <laughs> so there are the few knots that I've done today. Uh, just to show you guys a little bit of some knots that you can do what are out on your bushcraft. The granny knot or the overhand knot. Go over and through. Simple knot. And you could do the multiple as well. Which is a very strong knot. Even stronger when it's wet or pulled really tight. It's really hard to undo. Or the figure of eight knot where you make the loop go hold on let's make a little loop so I can show you again make the loop go over the loop so you can see your fingers there so you go over and then through pull tight and that's the figure of eight and then we do this the all of the way Get your rope, get the long bit round your wrist, grab the small bit and put it through the hole, holding both ends, to pull it tight, and there you have your figure of eight slip knot. There we go. So thanks for watching this little video. I know it's not the same as the ones I've been doing recently, the forage foraging videos or the walk videos or any of that stuff but I'm just making do with the time and weather that I got to make these little videos up so that there's always something going out on the channel don't forget to hit that like button 
leave a comment below because it really helps with the algorithm even if it's just say hi Craig how you doing so yeah and please share the channel we're nearly at our 1000 subscribers once we do that we try and get monetized and that just well that make my whole year <laughs> there's more announcements coming um, a big change in my life a scary change but a good change I hope so yeah like I said don't forget to like this video leave a comment subscribe share the channel stay safe and I'll see you later